Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man. This is your monthly WINZ.com movie review. This week, month, I went to see Pixels. It stars Adam Sandler, Peter Dinklage, Josh Gad, also Kevin James, Michelle Monaghan, and more. It is the story of some kids in the early 80s who are really into video games. And they go to a video game tournament uh, where one of them, a guy named Sam Brenner, who as an adult is played by Adam Sandler, uh, comes in second to this um, gentleman who feels a great need to refer to himself as the Fire Blaster. Um, that's Peter Dinklage as an adult. Uh, the Fire Blaster wins the competition. And uh, by the way, this competition is videotaped and then put on board a spaceship, which is fired off in the uh, slight chance that um, some, you know, alien race might come across it someday and find out about what things were popular in 1982. Flash forward to now, and uh, Sam Brenner has not lived up to the potential that he had hoped for himself. Um, the Fire Blaster is in prison for various cyber crimes. Uh, uh, Ludlow Lamons, Lamons off, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, uh, played by Josh Gad, who was sort of a child prodigy, is just sort of this weird conspiracy theorist. Um, and Will Cooper, who goes by the nickname Chewy, played by Kevin James as an adult, is now the president. Of the United States and Cooper and Brenner were best friends when they were kids. Well that spaceship that had the videotape on it gets fired up into space and is found by an alien race who takes the video game footage and considers it an act of war and they come to Earth in order to engage us in battle based on those video games. Now, uh, if we lose three of these games, the planet will be destroyed. Um, and President Cooper brings in his buddies, or his buddy, Sam Brenner, uh, to help devise ways to protect the Earth. Also getting involved is Lieutenant Colonel Violet Van Patten, uh, a divorced mother who um, Brenner went to her home and installed a uh, audiovisual system because that's what he does now. He's um, part of the nerd brigade or whatever it is they, their version of the geek squad is. And uh, they become acquainted. And that's where our um, somewhat unnecessary and inappropriate romance comes in. Uh, this is an extraordinarily silly film. Um, not quite as silly as some other Adam Sandler movies. Um, and it's better than most Adam Sandler movies, probably because the story is based upon him not being a douchebag to start with and uh, about he and his friends trying to save the earth. It is incredibly silly. It seems that the uh, aliens wouldn't have shaped their spacecraft and their warriors like our video games because we came up with those video games hence we would have an automatic advantage um, so just in the thinking too much about it department I was thinking too much about it um, but the, the, the there's a decent amount of humor Peter Dinklage is very funny as Fire Blaster he's completely inappropriate pretty much all the time um, and the supporting cast uh, gets to embarrass themselves in various ways that will cause you to laugh it is a silly movie and if you like Adam Sandler it's probably worth your time it almost makes up for Jack and Jill almost I'm giving it three guitars Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review. You can see my weekly reviews at StanTheMovieMan.com. You can follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. And 
You can send emails to me, stanthemovieman at comcast.net. Till next time, later, Tater.